A process is identified for providing feedback to teachers as a result of walkthroughs. Key pieces include high frequency walkthroughs, collection and analysis of the data for coaching, and to identify trends for PD, and coaching at least six times per year. Establish a professional development plan based on staff needs and district initiatives. It is also important to have a process of accountability for implementation of the professional development plan. Here is Jamie Wyman from Carter Elementary. As a core team, we calibrated ourselves and made sure that we were all clear on what we were looking for in the classrooms and we communicated that to the teachers. So they get clear, consistent data about what their instruction looks like and then they can set goals for improvement and celebrate successes. The way the Power Walk system worked for us, if we had um, powerful sightings, they would send the teachers a notice that we saw this great thing in your classroom today or this great thing. So um, it depends on how you set up the system, whether or not they get that immediate feedback, but it calibrates all the data. And before each coaching session, you have 15 Power Walks that you wanna complete. And then the, the tool calibrates all of that together to create a report that the teachers see. And then we can also create a school-wide report of the data. I think implementing the system um, with fidelity this year has really increased the sense of growth in our building for teachers. They got used to us coming in, the students got used to us coming in. It was um, for a very specific purpose. They knew why we were in their rooms and they knew how often we were gonna be in their rooms because it was a set schedule that we, we had to complete the 15 power walks before so then they knew we were coming, they'd like to get that data. Um, we had conversations about it all year long um, in faculty meetings, PLCs, everything focused around what we were seeing in the classrooms based on our walkthroughs being consistent in their rooms. We see trends in the classrooms that are amazing that we can celebrate as a staff and then it helps us also see trends that we need to work on for improvement. Like as critical writing and purposeful talk are two areas that we focus on all year long and because we had such of an intentional focus. I was in classrooms all the time. My assistant principal was in classrooms all the time. We were able to have conversations about when we were seeing the critical writing improve, how they were doing that, and then we could share that with other teachers about what we could see, what we were seeing in certain classrooms to help them learn how to do it in their classrooms. So it really helps you as a principal know way more about what's going on in your in your building and in your classrooms because you're in your you're in at least five classrooms every single day. As we strive to be the best large urban school district in the nation, we must have a cohesive plan for implementing these six systems. It is our expectation that each school follow these non-negotiables. These systems, along with the pillars, are a blueprint for success and will help us to all reach our North Star.